Hello guys, welcome to the Operation 18 Podcast. I'm your host, Dane. I'm joined by... I'm Steven. Sick beans. Alright, this is pretty sweet. This is starting out sweet gay. Dandy. Okay, so... <laughs> um, Wait, we're not gay? Wait, what? Which one do you want to talk about I first? The JonTron thing? Sure. Alright. We're going to be mainly talking about it because I don't really know that much information about it. Alright, so basically, uh, JonTron and this, like, YouTuber named Destiny, uh, they got into, like, some debate on Twitch, like, during Destiny's stream, and JonTron was, like, throwing out all these facts about, like, because they got into, like, the topic of, um, like, racism and, like, crime between different races, races or whatever, and it was, like, I don't know, it was, um, JonTron put up pulled up like the statistic that wealthy black men or just like wealthy people and wealthy black people in general uh commit more crimes than poor white people it was a statistic and a lot of people like scarce in particular is reporting it like it's controversial and yeah. he then got like later on got fired from a video game like being a voice actor on a video game mm-hmm. and so this is where we're at right now and a lot of people are like calling him racist I mean, if they were st- statistical facts, that's I don't what think I was that saying. Pure racism. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it's obviously racism if. Um. If you <laughs> no, hold on, wait a minute. I wasn't thinking. Uh, people, it's right? not racism if there's facts to back it up. Like, okay, no, that sounds really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's not a racist thing. It's a statistic of like, yes, it is true that. They are more, uh, they are more likely to commit crimes. Than and granted, that I can see how people would say that that's, you know, considered. I guess, racist. but it's like he was just stating a fact. Yeah. I don't and know. If Scarce is making all of these, not so much false. Much of a. Uh, Scarce is not making like false accusations or anything. He's reporting on it, but like he's saying it's controversial. Yeah. And I I'm think, like, I it's not a controversy. It's fact that people are getting butt hurt over. That's not I a controversy. Main problem right there is that Scarce is reporting on it as if it is controversy, even though it was just him stating facts. Exactly. Sorry, I had to get like a pencil. Um, okay, why? I'm gonna like timestamp stuff that I need to cut out. Oh. Um, as in like if somebody like walks in and stuff like that, or like yeah. you drop like a racial slur or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like I'm gonna do that. It'll happen one day. We'll have like a guest on, and they'll just be like, "Alex is it," and then it's just gonna drop. Wait, what about Alex? He's a stupid. Uh... He's a Alex. intelligent black man. Alright, well, I mean, I don't see what the main problem could be about JonTron and him actually losing something, yeah. like a voiceover in a game. I mean, he tweeted out that it, he respected their decision, but it's like, it wasn't justified. You're not gonna, like, why would you boot someone off the team for just having different views? Yeah. Like, I don't and it, understand. And it wasn't even really a different views. Like, it was a statistic, st- <laughs> I can't talk. A statistical fact. Well, something similar happened, not, like, as in, like, this is a fact-based thing. More of just, like, somebody getting fired based on their views. Um, if you've ever heard of The Blaze, which is owned by, um, Glenn Beck. If you've ever heard of that guy. He used yeah. to work for Fox News, and he was, like, this huge conspiracy theorist. I don't remember if he got, like, fired or he quit. But, like, he was a huge controversial figure. He's all right now. Um, he's toned it down, but he owns a company called The Blaze, and one of the people on The Blaze uh, is named, like, Tommy Lauren or something, and I think that's her name, and she, like, went on this talk show and said that she was pro-choice, and, but, like, she said the conservatives are super hypocritical and all that, she just said something about, like, pro-choice, and she, this network's really conservative, and Glenn Beck's motto is, like, We don't care what your views are. We want to get a conversation going. I'm not going to shut down someone's views. 
And then he suspended her based on the pro-choice view that she said on that show. Yeah. So it makes no sense, you know? Just, like, people getting fired for their views and stuff. I mean, I guess... I mean, if it's in the rules that you're not supposed to talk about that stuff and you talk about it, I guess you... I mean, I understand saying, like, okay, black people are a menace to society. I get saying that might be like, yeah, I'm going to fire you because you're retarded. But it's like, if you're just simply stating, like, look, statistics say wealthy black men or wealthy black people are more likely to commit crimes than poor white people. If you just state, like, a statistic like that, I don't think you should be punished. Yeah. I you mean, because anybody could say that and not get the stuff that he did because he's popular. Like, if I were to go out and say that on Twitter, nobody would care. And the only reason why is because... Well, he didn't say it on Twitter, Twitter, but if he did, he would get a lot more backlash than if I did or you did. Mm-hmm. And it kind of depends on how popular you are. Yeah. And how much that matters. It also goes back to, like, the PewDiePie thing when he was being called a Nazi. Yeah. Uh, if you, you know enough about that, right? He got uh, dropped from Maker it. and... Yeah. You know, YouTube took him off the Google Preferred Ads list. Oh. Uh, you know, all that crap. And he was being called, like... J.K. Rowling even called him, like, a... Uh, like a Nazi s- sympathizer or something. Over Twitter. And she, like, double downed on it, too. Yeah. Like, a couple days later, she, like, confirmed, like, hell yeah, I believe in this. That was sick. Zion just changed the profile picture on the group chat. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but it goes back to that. And what's even funnier is, like, Maker hasn't dropped iDubs. Yeah. Over all the stuff that he's said. <laughs> yeah, like, they got rid of their biggest, like, source of income. <laughs> and, like... Like, PewDiePie isn't even the most controversial figure in their network. I would say iDubbbz probably is. Yeah. Like, because he just says stuff and gets away with it, and nobody cares. Like, nobody on the left really seems to care. And that also has to do with popularity. Again. Yes. Because iDubbbz has, what, 3 million? 3 point something million? Yeah, and then PewDiePie has, like, 55 yeah. million. Yeah. Jesus. And it has to go back to that. Mm-hmm. And how much that changes. Hey, uh, a quick word from our not sponsors. Uh, I'm drinking Publix uh, water right now. <laughs> Dude, I was just drinking some Gatorade. Dude, I'm waiting for that email from Publix saying we'll sponsor you. Oh, from like Publix Priest. <laughs> that, the fact that I have a Publix coffee mug, a pu- pencil, and a Publix water bottle on my desk. Alright, so. Now, like, it's. It's so stupid, though, because. It's so stupid, because, like. PewDiePie didn't, like, actually do anything, you know? Yeah. And he still got dropped. Like, it just it just shows you you, can, you can't get away with, like, any jokes or even stating your views without getting, like, yeah. consequences. I, mean, I understand if, like, your views are very extreme. Like, if you're really, really, like, if you're actually pro-Nazi and stuff If like you're that, saying, like, like I want to kill all the Jews, then, yes, like, drop that person from your network all you want. But he just made a, well, I wouldn't say simple, because it probably, I knew it offended people. That's why they got him where he is now. But, yeah. uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um that he made a joke about it like he didn't purely mean everything that he said about you know the Jews and Nazis and stuff like that yeah yeah okay so I think we've uh, chewed that topic (laughs) to the fullest extent because you don't really know much about it let's talk about organic meat One of the multiple topics, organic meat. Organic meat. meat. <laughs> and weenies. <laughs> no, one of these days we need to talk about organic meat. Uh, we probably will. Yeah, no, we'll have a guest on. We'll just type in the chat. Let's talk about organic meat. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm down. <laughs> okay, so uh, since you still play Minecraft consistently, I I think. Yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, what do you think on the whole like high pixel hacking stuff? And Bad Lion um, Premium as well, if you've ever heard of that. No, I haven't. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, actually. What do you think about but, Hypixel's, like, neglect to... They're watchdog anti-cheat. I mean, I have a couple of friends that I talk to in TeamSpeak quite a bit that actively go on there and hack, just to hack and have fun. Yeah. And I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not the type of person to go out and just hack like that, but... They go on, they do it all the time. Their accounts aren't banned or anything like that. And they're just doing it all day, every day, like, with yeah, each like, other. It's gotten to the point where I've actually thought about, like, going on my Eat My Nuts account and, like, just straight up fly hacking everywhere. I'm not saying I'll do it, but, like, I've had the thought um, of doing it. Simply because yeah. it's like I know I'm going to be able to get away with it. It's not like Badline where they're, like, dead. Boom. It, yep. Like, with Hypixel, it's like it takes some months until someone finally is, like, reported, and then it takes them another month for a moderator to see it and be like, I guess we'll just suspend them for a couple weeks. Yeah. Like, it's so stupid. Like, the Watchdog system doesn't do anything. Honestly, it really doesn't. I mean, it does some because it says how many it's banned in that certain amount of time. Yeah. Which I know is, like, it's true, but... I mean, most of it's just alts of other people coming back on. Uh -huh. But the main problem is, is that they don't take as much care as Bad Lion mm -hmm. as they do with uh, with their uh, hacking system or, like, Cosmic PvP. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Cosmic is now breaking down very, very well with hackers and... Uh, they're causing what do you mean by like breaking down, like, like they're that. banning people or like the server is going down? No, they're banning people, that's what I meant. Ah. So, I mean, it's it's a problem <laughs> to people who play normally and regularly because they don't... Yeah. Are, are you okay there, Yeah, bud? I'm just drinking water, choking on it. <laughs> <laughs> you actively choke on your Publix, water. where's my money? Compensation! <laughs> 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 Uh, Calm down, jeez. Now I have to talk for the rest of the podcast with water in my lungs. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, basically, I see. Like, it, for the people who play normally, like how I used to and how you used to, mm -hmm. play it normally. Uh, I mean, I still no play hacks, normally. I don't see what you're saying. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you used to play it a lot more. Yeah. But, like, we had to fun care a lot more it. as well. Yeah. We had fun playing it and stuff like that, and now it's kind of like every other game you get into a game with a hacker, and it's kind of like, do you, do you even want to play the game anymore? I think like, it's just there, like partially because the game has become a meme, people go out and buy it, and then like they'll just purposely hack on stuff that they know that they can get away with hacking on. But yeah. it's like, uh, I remember because the biggest turning point for me, which is why I like I liked Bad Lion at the time so much, was because. I was in a game, the moment some dude just comes, like, speed hacking over to me, hits me with his reach, and immediately gone. He just gets yeah. banned right before my eyes. And I'm pretty sure, it, either it's in one of my videos, or I did record it, but I never uploaded it, which means the footage is long gone by now. But it's like, I remember, I was playing, and he immediately just got, like, danked. And my friend yeah. was spectating me, and was like, oh my god. And I was like, dang, dude. I mean, the anti-cheat on Bad Lion is ten times better than... I would say uh, it's falling apart now, though. Yeah. Because the... Uh, I haven't been playing. Uh, I've been, like, watching, like, stuff on it, where it's, like... Like, I'll go on YouTube, and s people like see a scoop or Cooper, that's his name. Um, they'll make, like, videos on the server, because they still kind of care. And it's, like... You know, that's his style of comment... Like, that's his style of content as well. He does, like, commentaries... So, like, of course yeah. he's going to talk about it at some point if he still cares. And it was just, like, they've gone to the point where they have so much doubt in their anti-cheat system, like, of updating it, to the point where, um, they have, like, this new service called Bad Lion Premium. You like that little yeah. segue? Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
but it's like Badline Premium, you pay like a certain amount of money a month, as gay as that sounds, and they give you mm. like a special mod to put into your folder. And like you, is if you only you can only get on the server, that certain premium server, with that mod only. I, I think you can have Optifine, like that's their exception. But like it won't let you on the server if you have any other mods. Which I was like, I mean, sounds like it's alright, but when they released it, first, like, 30 minutes of it being out, there were already, like, hackers being caught on there. I know, because there's ghost clients and stuff like that now. That no, it's not the ghost clients. Like, it'll detect a ghost client. Like, ghost no. clients are only useful if, like, you're recording. Because, like, if you're recording okay. a video, nobody's going to be able to see it. Like, they're not yeah. going to be able to see the ghost client. But, like... It can still detect it, but it's like there's just so many different types of hacks that it's like you can get away with literally just typing an extra line of code into the Java files of Minecraft, and it'll give you, like, infinite health. Yeah. And you can join the server and get away with it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not hard. This is a Java-based Minecraft, like, game called Minecraft. It's not difficult to, like, manipulate. And I, yeah. I also hate the owner of Bad Lion as well, because he takes it he takes his business so seriously. And it's like with Chad the DJ and MC Gamer or MCSG as it used to be known as, before they shut down, I mean Chad just didn't give a crap. But like eventually they went down. Mostly because of hackers and stuff like that. Bad Lion's going, but he treats it like it's a corporation. Yeah. And it it's Archie treats it that's the name of the dude. Ar like his in-game name. Archie treats it like it's a corporation, but it's not. Like, he copyright claims, so or like copyright strikes someone's video. I don't remember if it was a claim or strike, because they used the logo in their thumbnail. Dang. It was a community UHC, with like players from each different kind of server, and obviously yeah. one of, some of the players were from Badline, so they put it in the thumbnail. You know how many times I've put Badline's logo in my thumbnail? So immediately yeah. when I heard that, I was like, I guess they shouldn't find out about my channel. Yeah. And, like, he's talking about, like, expanding the company into, like, other things. And it's like, you run a Minecraft server, dude. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how much money they're making. If they're making a lot, like, a lot of money, then I would treat it as, like, a corporation. Because you want everything to be perfect so you keep making money. Mm -hmm. But if they're if they're just doing it basically for fun, then there's no point in them to continue making it like that to where they actually copy strike people's thumbnails because of it. Yeah, and I'm I pretty was like, sure. I was like, you could have just reached out to the person and said, "Can you change the thumbnail to where my logo isn't in it?" And I'm sure they would have been like, "All right, it's a simply putting it in Photoshop, taking the logo out, and setting it on the video." I hate it when people strike videos based on thumbnails because you can replace them with another thumbnail. Yeah. But, uh, I mean... Wait, wait. If Kennedy was a set. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> 1960. <laughs> 1963. Sorry, I can't make a joke without correcting it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think I mean, we've gonna beaten take... the subject what I think we've beaten that subject just we're just trashing on Archie like bot a... now <laughs> yeah we're beating it like a dead horse Archie bots a cuck <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the name operation 18 episode 1 Archie bots a cuck <laughs> I mean <laughs> Adam on Twitter <laughs> why not start talking about YouTube changing because we were just talking about thumbnails Oh yeah. Boom. Segue there. Oh, oh, good. Oh, it was a decent seg se that was trash segue. <laughs> I'm amazing at this at this. I should be professional pod Shut up. pod <laughs> potter. Alright, so Cod Poster. <laughs> so uh I wanna talk about YouTube because it's like the whole restriction mode thing, people get in their like panties knotted into like a triple knot during Boy Scouts. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so retarded hearing people talk about restriction mode. Have you heard anything 
on YouTube within the past like week? No, not really. Damn. So you're really out of the loop. Um, yeah. Basically, it's like the restriction mode. You've heard of restriction mode. It's been around for years. Yeah. You turn it on, it like restricts a bunch of videos. They use it at schools mostly. I know my mm -hmm. school account has restriction mode manually, like automatically turned on by the school yep. administration, which I don't care because all I ever do on my school account anyway is just listen to music or like watch the occasional video. Which it's only restricted on my Chromebook. If I go on like Google Chrome on a school computer, it's not yeah. restricted. So I can yeah. watch whatever I want. But um, people have been complaining because it's like on restriction mode. If you try to look up a YouTube channel, it's like it doesn't even exist. Like the channel doesn't even show up. When on yeah. restriction mode, you can just enter the channel URL and the channel shows up. Um, mm -hmm. People are complaining about how like they're censoring videos. I heard this really retarded argument how they're censoring Call of Duty videos, and I'm like, nah, shit. I mean, it's I an M-rated game. Blood, guns, I mean, for God's sake, they actually, drop an F-bomb every six seconds during every campaign. I don't actually, understand. Actually, you could change it from blood to paint balls. This is an advanced warfare. No, you can still do it. Really? I yeah. know you could take off the gore, but in Black Ops 3, I just... No, mm. but, like, people are complaining about how, like, they're blogging Call of Duty videos, which I'm like, it's an M-rated game. Plus, half the videos that are of Call of Duty, not even half, like, 85% of the videos that have to do with Call of Duty, the person in the video is swearing. Mm. It's like, duh, it's gonna be restricted. Almost, I think, like, all 3,000 of PewDiePie's videos are restricted. Well, Except for why. maybe like a couple that are all right, really which it's like, why. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, and then like the this is what got YouTube to finally respond: the gays. They were complaining about how YouTube's restricting LGBT content, which I actually had a justification for it. Um, the restriction mode restricting LGBT related videos. It's because half of those videos that are made about LGBT, they're talking about like sex the whole time. Yeah, and then the other half is like it's a controversial topic. If parents or the school or the school system turn it on, they don't want to like complain. They don't want complaints from those parents or like the school administration saying this gay content. My student found this. My dad, yeah. like not my dad, my son found this. <laughs> my dad, <laughs> my dad found this. Started ranting at the dinner table. Had a gun <laughs> in his hand the whole time. Yes. All right. Yes, Papa. But it's like there's ice cream downstairs. But but it's like it's so retarded. And then YouTube was like, "We're sorry for um, restricting gay videos," and they're working to fix it. And I'm like, it took I mean, that much to get them to respond in a human way. Yeah. Restrict plus it's like it's restricted mode. You have a manual option to turn it on. And somebody actually raised the question if you register an account that's like thirteen years or younger, will it automatically turn on restriction mode? No, it doesn't. Yeah. You have to turn it on yourself. I mean, it it kinda does that. Like if you're under that age, like I used to have an account that was I made a long, long time ago when I was under 13, but basically it said that, like, this video you can't watch unless you confirm your age or... Oh, yeah, like, that was if, like, like, the that. video was age-restricted. Yeah. But, like, that's but, like, it. Third, it's not like if it's under restriction mode. It's, like, you know... Because with res restriction mode, I went to my channel, and, like, I... Th I think maybe a hundred out of the 800 videos that I have on my channel are not restricted, which I was like, holy crap. And a lot of those videos are Minecraft videos because I'd never like had any like profane language in them and it was Minecraft. So it was like a kid friendly type video if you really think about yeah. it. So I mean, it wasn't restricted. Like a lot of the videos on my video on my channel aren't restricted. There's one about like a political topic that wasn't restricted even. And I was okay. like, wow. And that's one of my recent ones. 
watch our Pyro Sonic video right now. Just got me a Weenie. ice cream sundae. Sounds delicious. Anyway, so... Uh, YouTube. Um, restriction mode. It's gay. I mean... <laughs> yeah. I don't I know, it's, that. it's fine, honestly. I didn't mind restriction mode for a while. Like, I, I even knew it was around for, like, years. But recently, people just started, like, complaining about it. And I'm like, why? <laughs> Have you run out of things to complain about? Are the views down? Yeah. I, like, I haven't really seen that much about this. Mm -hmm. Like... So I don't really have that big of a say in it. Yeah. But, you know. I don't know. Like, it's just frustrating, because I've been on YouTube for so long that it's like, you know. I've never seen this many crybabies on a website. <laughs> like, on this website, I've never seen so many people complain about the dumbest crap. BuzzFeed is being sexist! Yeah, well, who cares? Like, it's BuzzFeed. You give them attention by making 10 videos a week on them. Yeah. I, don't I mean, understand if you want to talk about complaining, we could talk about Call of Duty going into... Oh my god. The <laughs> segue. <laughs> nah, wait a few minutes. I want to keep talking about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, scratch that segue. Yeah, wait, that wait, hold important. hold off on your segue. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like, I personally, BuzzFeed is pretty stupid, like, in my eyes. Oh, yeah. Of course, but... Like, everything they do is pretty stupid. Americans so, taste I mean, I can understand. candy. Oh, yeah. $1 shoe versus <laughs> $100 shoe. Dude... <laughs> Why why men manspread? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about no, that. Let's talk I got about scarred that. this morning. I have a story. Oh, I was meta I was mentally raped. <laughs> 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 this boy on my bus sits down uh, next to me because uh, I was in a seat by myself. This morning I was just yes. sitting there on the inside. First seat this boy smells really bad. <laughs> and he's, like, really retarded as well. So he... <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go around saying that. No, he's not, like, retarded. I just mean, like, he's not the brightest person in the world. So, oh, then why'd you say retarded? <laughs> because that's what I call people that are kind of dumb. But, <laughs> but, um... What are you, PC? Um, yes. Mm. But he sits PG down... And I guess he didn't understand what room is, so he sits down, just like spreads his legs out as wide as he can go, and it's just like crushing my legs against the wall. And I, after about five minutes, I get fed up with it, so I'm just like, dude, can you scoot over? Moves like a centimeter over. No, no joke. And I'm like, dude, you just raped me. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable anymore. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just kidding. I about feel the uncomfortable. Ring thing. He didn't rape me, but it's just like <laughs> I have to disclose that without being sued. But um, even though I didn't even say his name, um, I, he man spreading did. is he was an honest demon. problem between women because man spreading is ta being being taken to the extreme. Manspreading is a real problem that needs to be solved. Dude, manspreading is rape. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's not like the Middle East is killing women. Dude, manspreading? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that humanity. I, that's, that's extreme right there. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, if you can't tell, this is all sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why women get... I mean, I, honestly, I'm, I'm not a woman. You can't, You're not a woman? can't tell. Yeah, I didn't know you I'm were not, not an entire gender of people. <laughs> but uh, I honestly just don't understand why women get triggered over men who feel very uncomfortable having their legs together. 
Yeah, I didn't understand it at first why men did that. Like, because I never did it. And then... I know why. After a while, I... Shut up. After a while, I naturally <laughs> just started doing it. And then I tried not to again. And after a while, it was so uncomfortable. And I was like, I, I understand mean, why dudes do this now. Like, I mean, I do it. I do it all the time. But, like, if there's somebody sitting next to me, I purposely pull in my legs. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be, like... Putting my leg on up, top of their lap, opening I'm not my legs like that. I take up three like fourths of the seat because my penis is more important. Like, <laughs> it's not even that, dude. It's your balls. That's the thing that's uncomfortable. Yeah, but then like your dick goes numb. What? Then like your penis goes numb. Can't understand what you're your saying. Penis goes numb. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, like if you sit in a certain position with your uh, well, legs fully close together, like the end of your penis actually starts going numb. I know that's why you don't do that. Yeah, that's I, and I was all, like, wow, comfortable. No, like that was the biggest realization for me because I had never actually felt comfortable putting my legs together. So once that happened, I was like, I'm never doing this ever again. I mean, so uncomfortable. Women don't understand, like, I don't understand most of the things that women have to go through. Yeah, like, like putting their purse on the chair, dude, it must be so hard. <laughs> Taking up an entire seat with their purse or bags. I don't understand that, just put it in your lap. When they're complaining about us opening our legs because we are very, very uncomfortable. I don't understand putting the purse in the other seat, though. Like, you don't have to bring that thing with, y with you, and if you do, put it in your lap. Like, it's yeah. just a bag. I mean, it's kind of like if you're on the bus and you're sitting two people to a seat, but you put your backpack at, on, like on your lap. You don't take up the entire seat yeah. next to you. Then when somebody wants to sit down, it's like, no, this is reserved for somebody else, even though nobody else shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who's going to sit right here? My mother? Where's your mother? Dead. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. You just insulted me. <laughs> She'll be here eventually. When I dig her from the grave. <laughs> I mean, granted, women go through a lot of things. Yeah, that I understand, understand that, but it's like they don't ever complain about them. They complain yeah. about the dumb crap that we laugh at them about, and then they ask, "Why don't we take them seriously?" And it's because we know the actual issues that they go through, but they don't ever complain about it. They complain yep. about the crap that we don't care about. That yep. I've never like. I've never understood why they do that. Like, you know how in the Middle East women can't drive cars? I know, like, there's one country that legalized it within the past couple years. Yep. But you know how women can't drive or, like, or, like can't go out in public without a man to escort them? Mm-hmm. Why aren't they talking about that? Because they don't care. Because then they're just, they turn around and are like, men are looking at us and it's a visual rape. <laughs> and then you have actual rape victims. I bet he's thinking about like, having sex with me right now. That is rape. That no, is mental rape. You have like rape. actual rape victims that'll like agree with these people uh, talking about mm -hmm. the um whole visual rape thing. And it's like, how can you compare your experience to a dude looking at this woman? Women are looking at men all the time. It goes both and ways. We, we don't, just care. don't care. But then if. Like, if a man looks at a woman and a woman gets, you know, a woman gets triggered about it and tells the man, but He's the but then a woman me. was looking at a man, and then the man walked up to the woman and said that you were visually raping me, <laughs> that the woman would get triggered because that's not real. That isn't even, like, a real term that they use, either. <laughs> I just made that one up. I know, no, no, like, they actually talk about it, but they don't thing. call it yeah. visual rape. I know they that's just call not it what rape. they call it. Well, they mean, actually have the like audacity to come to put it in the same category as actual rape. Yeah, and it's actually sickening. That's kind of like classifying hunting, like hunting to survive, as murder. How did we get on the topic of rape? <laughs> we were oh, talking about manspreading before. <laughs> Buzzfeed and we, commentary. We started with Buzzfeed, and then we it's a commentary. We went from complaining about stuff. YouTube to BuzzFeed, then to manspreading, and then to rape, <laughs> and then now murder. <laughs> <laughs> this is going really extreme. No, I, I want to talk on the point of, like, YouTubers complaining, especially the commentary community. I've wanted to make a video 
on so many different things, but I can't. And the only way that I've actually done it is like I have made videos parodying stuff. Like I'll like I parodied Casey Neistat's vlog style using like old yeah. drone footage from about a year ago when me and Chris flew a drone, um, mm -hmm. and I recorded it from the drone cam. It said it was in HD, and it's in, like, 144p standard definition. <laughs> and I was like, that's stupid. I, like, Three mocked pixels. the way that he filmed stuff, like how he sets on the camera and then comes around the corner and says hi to the camera like he didn't even know it was there. Um, well, hi, I didn't notice you there. <laughs> but, like, it well, also howdy, is... Um, I've parodied, like, Minecraft Let's Plays. I've done all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And... Uh, hold on. One spit it out. Uh, I'm just reading an important message. Um, from the ad council. <laughs> no, like, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, making videos about people complaining. I wanted to make a commentary video where I was parroting the way that commentators do their commentaries, but like, so many people have already done that. And it's also like, I don't even like calling them the commentary community. Because I would consider like, me or you commentators, when we're like talking about life stories or something like that over a game. Yeah. Or talking about like issues that we have. When you're taking a video and just like either deconstructing it, like that's called criticism in most cases. Mm -hmm. That's like a criticism video. But, like, when you take videos from other people and then, like, take it apart and just insult the crap out of it, because your content reaction isn't videos. any better. <laughs> yeah, reaction commentary videos is what I've been calling them. Because I it's, mean, it's, just, it's a subcategory of commentary it. videos. It isn't even real commentary. I mean, commentary. there's, like, leafy, pyrocynical, scarce. There's, like, all of those people who do that stuff. Leafy scarce is that. not... <laughs> Well, I, I know, a, like, I'm just talking about the extreme stuff that he has done in the past. Yeah, like, Scarce is actually a commentator. Like, he used to be an actual commentator, though. He yeah. used to commentate over Call of Duty. And then he turned into, like, a news channel, and they kicked him from Red. Because he's too controversial. Yeah. Man, that just went full circle. First topic, he got, uh, John Trump got kicked off the voice thing for the game. Because of his, uh... Controversy, I guess, in quotes, controversy. Scarce got kicked from Red because he was too controversial. Is it coincidence? I, 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 think, I not. think not. Scarce <laughs> is trying to end John Tron's career, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah? I mean, Scarce used to play Call of Duty, so why don't we talk... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no, can I make a joke about YouTube? Really quick? Yeah, and sure. we'll segue into COD. <laughs> so, do you know who the CEO of YouTube is? Uh, I don't personally know him. No, no I've do never you met him know of who the per <laughs> like, do you, have you heard of the person that's the CEO? Yes. Who? <laughs> well, I don't know his name. Her. Her. Her name is Susan <laughs> Wajigout. Wajig I don't know how you spell it, but the last name starts with a W and it's complicated. It's like Wajigowski or something like that. And so, mm -hmm. her sister is named Ann Wojcikowski, or whatever the last name is. She was married to a guy named Sergey Brin. And Sergey Brin's business partner is Larry Page. Sergey Brin and Larry Page founded Google. Sergey Brin married a girl named Ann. And Ann's sister is Susan, the CEO of YouTube. Sergey had an affair with one of the uh, developers of Google Glass and yeah. the two separated. What if the whole reason why YouTube's been messing up is so Susan can get back at Sergey and ruin the company? That could be true. It's not. Like, it's just a joke. Coincidence? Because when you look farther into I... it, you would know Anne and Sergey are actually still, like, great business partners and friends. But, like, yeah. from an outside view, it's so funny to think about. Maybe she's sabotaging the company. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little funny joke. A little meme. You know what else is a company? 
Activision, and Activision <laughs> makes Call of Duty. <laughs> My segues are on point today. <laughs> Activision. <laughs> And you know who one of the off brands of, of Activision is? Hmm. Valve, and they made CSGO. <laughs> I'm not talking about CSGO, dude. No, we're talking about Call of Duty. I mean, the main issue is that people don't play Call of Duty as much. I mean, there's a lot of sales for Call of Duty, and it will always be that way. But I mean, the, the franchise has been turned like, into garbage, so... Well, yeah, and that's after Advanced Warfare. I liked and Infinite Warfare. Game. I will admit, I um, liked it better than Black Ops Three and Advanced Warfare. Clearly, I've um, never, I, like, I've never actually like played Infinite Warfare. I played it a little bit, but I already like it better than Black Ops Three and Advanced Warfare. And I have played just, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops Three longer. You, you, you didn't, you, <laughs> and wait. <laughs> what? I said that the reason why I went to the futuristic stage is because of Sledgehammer making Advanced Warfare, and then you're like, I like Infinite Warfare. I know, I was just putting it out there that I like Infinite Warfare <laughs> oh, better okay. than the I last two me. futuristic you're just, I thought you were just saying. <laughs> I was saying out of the three futuristic cards, I like Infinite Warfare. Yeah, I mean, I like all of them because yeah. I'm a fan of Call of Duty, but... Sledgehammer made Advanced Warfare, and that was the start of uh, all the futuristic stuff mm -hmm. with the exo jumps and stuff like that. But then the exo Sledgehammer podcast. is making, yeah, this exo Sledgehammer is making this year's. Yeah, they're making. I, I think it's going to be like a Vietnam Call of Duty. It is I mean, most we'll likely, know in and, two weeks. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> what's it called? Black Ops 1 was slightly based off of Vietnam mm -hmm. and with its campaign and stuff like that. You know, Black Ops 2 is actually the one that started all the futuristic stuff. I mean... They were the first... Actually, no, I've always had this argument that, like, technically, in the most technical sense, COD 4 was the first futuristic COD. It takes place in 2011, but the game was released in 2007. I know. So, I mean, <clears throat> technically, but, like, if we were to take, like, Far Future, Black Ops 2 is the most futuristic one. I mean, that's, those things were, like, known as Modern Warfare. That's why they were named Modern Warfare 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. And that Modern Warfare 3 still stands to this day as the most, uh, most, uh, sold Call of Duty But it's also the made. most hated Modern Warfare that is true, but yeah. Um, and also I'm the game. Sure people just bought it because it was like the end to a trilogy. <clears throat> they were like, "Hell yeah!" Yeah. And then they actually and that's, played it. That's and it also. Was like, eh. <clears throat> that's also the reason with uh, Black Ops Three why it sold so much. Yeah. Because it was the end of the trilogy, and then everybody realized how crap the campaign was. Oh yeah, the campaign I mean, was a horrible. Had nothing to do with Black Ops Two. Okay, or no, Black from Ops a from 1. a Black Ops standpoint, it was terrible. From a game standpoint, just in general, it was the lowest of okay. <coughs> you like yeah. you have I mean, to like really pay attention to know what's going on, and you have to play yeah. it in one sitting. Train go boom. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the frozen uh, forest. <laughs> No, but um, I, I would say um, out of the last four Call of Duties that we've gotten, I liked Ghost better than the other three. Yeah. Ghost I was mean, actually good. I feel like it was a bit a underappreciated. A made the jokes about Ghost being the worst Call of Duty just because of um, like the dogs being stronger than soldiers. Yeah, but then people started like taking that as like an actual serious thing. And all these COD YouTubers mm -hmm. started like rolling with it, like they were actually being serious. And lately, like a like a couple of U COD YouTubers have been saying, like Ghost is actually really underappreciated. Like I think the only reason it got as many as much hate as it did was partially because of a joke, and partially because it was change, and nobody really liked change. Yeah, and yeah, so. like going back to Modern Warfare Three, yeah. Modern Warfare Three was 
the least worked on, or not least worked on. It was the Call of Duty that was was. done in six months. I think it was the least worked on. Like, it was the shortest time frame in development out of all the costs. Yeah, it was six months. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't expect much. You only have six months to code a game, get all the graphics done for the game, get all the voice acting done for the game, get all the writing done for the... I mean, you have only six months to do all of this. And yet again, a lot of people like it. Like, I like it myself. It's not Just because bad. it's, what I say it's a, a good game. When I say it's, a, like, the worst game in the Call of Duty franchise, no. When I say it's the best, no. But, because, yeah. I mean, I obviously I'm going to be biased. I like Modern Warfare 2 and World at War. Those are my two favorite CODs. But, yeah. it's like... There's going to be biased by everyone. But, like, Modern Warfare 3 wasn't a terrible game. And especially with the expectation of, like, they only had six months to work on it. Like, yeah, you can't and if have... they had the full year to work Dude, on it... they had the full I mean, like, two years to work on it? Yeah, like, now now they're taking, like, up to two years No, to now they're taking games. up to three years. Because, like, with the addition of Sledgehammer... Like, before it was, like, <laughs> Infinity Ward would release a game, then they would have the, the whole year, and then Treyarch would release a game, and then they had another whole year to finalize it. With games now, yeah. now they have three years... Because Sledgehammer's in the mix now. Yeah. Infinite War- Infinity Ward can release a game, then Treyarch will release one, which is one year for development, then Sledgehammer will release one, which is another, which is a second year for development, and then they have the last year to sort of finish it. And then put out the beta for everyone. Ooh, she's a voice crack. Well, they put just now the started doing that. Like, Black Ops 3 is the first COD since, I think, like, World at War that had a beta. Yeah, since World at War was the one that had it, and you see how great of a game that was because yeah. of the beta. I feel like the beta was, like, a fresh breath of air for everybody, and I think Supply yeah. Drops is, might have been what killed it. Yeah. Supply Drops kind of killed Black Ops 3, because it, then it turned I mean, into, like, it, it's warfare. Like, nobody took the game seriously by the end of its lifespan. Because it was so ridiculous. Yeah. Like, people running around as clowns. Like, in Black Ops 3, now you can walk it. around as, like... Oh, I know. Now in Black Ops 3, you can walk around as, like, a water man. Like, it looks so dumb. You look, you can dress yeah. up as a spaceman if you choose the fireman. The fire guy. I forgot all the names of the specialists because I haven't played in so long. I don't know. I can't remember. Was it, like, Firebreak or something? Uh, I think so. But... <sighs> I mean, if you're if you're gonna talk about supply drops, we need to talk about Modern Warfare Remastered now. I don't care about the supply because drops in Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm actually happy that they did. The only reason Why? Modern Warfare Remastered still has like a consistent fan base is because you're not playing COD Four on the new gen consoles. Like, yeah. if they released a COD Four Remastered like true to its roots, didn't add or remove anything, didn't change anything. So many people would get so bored of it and just go back to COD 4. They added the, like, because when they added supply drops, I was actually kind of happy. So I was like, it's new stuff. You know? I mean, the supply drop wouldn't be a big deal if yeah. they didn't add, what? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. <laughs> um, if they didn't add new guns into it. Like, have you seen the uh, XMLR? Did you just hear that? The assault rifle? What? Did you just hear that in the background? No. Alright. Still gonna write it down anyway, just in case. Okay. Well, have you, like, have you heard anything about the XMR? Uh, is that like a shotgun? No, no, no. The, that starts with a K, I can't even remember. But that shotgun is very Shotgun's kind of retarded, too. honestly. It's not even good. Like, you have to be pretty skilled to use it. Because well, it's, yeah, it's not like it's the Brecky. Automatic. Like, with the Brecky, it was like, you had to, you didn't even have to do anything. You just had to look in their direction and fire the trigger. Like, with this one, yeah. it's more of, like, recoil control a little bit because it, like, dips down so low. Yeah. After holding down for so long, like, it's not the easiest gun in the world to use. So it does have a bit mm. of balance. And then you have the XMLR, which kind of looks like an ACR from uh, Oh, is that Modern the um, is that the sniper rifle? No, it's the uh, in it, Modern Warfare Remastered. It's the uh, assault rifle. Oh, oh, that basically has zero recoil. It kills people in actually. I think they nerfed two, it. Two, maybe three shots. I think they nerfed it. 
When they added the no, they when added the new sniper rifle, I think they kind of like toned it down a little bit with recoil. They they haven't at all. Recoil? It's still really overpowered. Because I thought they like fixed the recoil just slightly. They might have, but it's like it's still like you could still control it. Like it's extreme. Have you seen the new sniper rifle? No. It's like a Barrett, but worse. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I've seen it. Not like and worse as in like it's thing... a good gun. I mean like it's just trash. Okay. Apparently when it first came out, because I saw one of Jeb's videos about he it. He said it was good with headshots, and I'm like, no, that's just because, like, here's the thing, right? When you have a yeah. gun model in your hand in the game, your perspective on the gun completely changes. Like, when I have a USP in CSGO, I am so bad at aiming it with heads with it, but if I have something like a P250 or a 5.7, dude, I'm getting headshots, like, left and right. And I, it's because yeah. that suppressor throws me off. Like, if you were to replace Same. the gun model with, like, a 5.7 for me, but it was still a USP, just the gun model was different, dude, headshots for days. I I would be able to actually be good with it. Because I actually tested this. I took the suppressor off the USP and got, like, three headshots with it. I have the same issue with CSGO and that. That it... Um, messes me up with perspective. That's why I'm so intimidated by the USP, and I'd rather have the P250. Yeah. But, or not P250, P2000. I, I but, tried to use the P2000, it just wasn't really doing it for me, so I just switched back. Yeah. Let's go back to Call of Duty. I'm not going to go into CSGO. Dude, they changed the CSGO sounds. <laughs> I actually started getting like, better. What, I'm not even ago? kidding. No, it was like... Maybe like ten months ago, eight, eight or ten months ago, bro. Dude, when they when they changed the op sound, the AK sound, and the M4 sound, I strangely got way better at using those guns. Yeah. Anyway, back to COD, um, MWR. I have to say, the introduction to supply drops, kind of, I don't know. It kind of kept the game alive because it introduced like new stuff where people weren't just getting bored using the same stuff over and over that they could have just used in COD 4. Because it's like, think about it, you buy this remastered game, and yeah, it looks good, and it's on new gen, but it's like, who cares, right? Just go back to COD 4. It's the same game. And you just wasted your money. The... You just wasted an extra 20 bucks on a game that looks slightly better than the other one. And another fact is, is that you have 5 million people playing Modern Warfare Remastered, but then at most you have... 2,000 people playing COD 4. I know, but if they like, hadn't, like, spiced up the game, MWR, so many of those people would go back to COD 4. Because they just would have um, gotten bored. Or they wouldn't have even gone back to COD 4. They would have just played another Call of Duty. <laughs> like, they would have gone back to, like, know. Black Ops 3, because a lot of people have actually been doing that. One of the One of the main issues, also, is going back to the old console with the controller and then also have to paying extra Xbox Live to play. Mm -hmm. It's another reason why people play it. Play MWR over going back and playing COD 4. Yeah. But, like, I personally don't like the supply drops because it just seems stupid to me. Yeah. How, like, I understand cosmetics. Like, if it was cosmetics, I would... I would be fine with it. Mm -hmm. Like there wouldn't be a lot of people got pissed just because of the fact that they even added something to COD Four, and I was like, well, I mean, calm yeah. down. Like the sweaty people that people... are like, the G three shouldn't be nerfed again because they added the pre nerf G three. I think it's I yeah. think it was the G three. Um. Yeah, it was the G thirty six. I call it the G three. Um. There's there's some called the G3 and the G36. No, nah, it's the G3. It was because I remember people talk about it so much. They added the pre-nerf G3 to MWR, and when they were talking about nerfing it like it was in COD 4, everybody was like, "No, don't change anything." I mean, they try to make it as as. They need to rebalance uh, all the weapons in that game to make it more like the original COD 4. Because the connection's, like, so much better in the remastered one that it's, like, the stats on those guns are ridiculous. On launch day, I mean, dude, the, like, even now, the M16 
Like, F off. You're not going to tell me that it's that since it's not changed, it's the same weapon as in COD 4. It hasn't. They took the exact same things and just poured it in. Exactly. It it but like it's actually, like, super... Like, you could shoot somebody in the knee with that thing and it kills them instantly. In COD 4, you, you would hit marker. COD 4 no, in ways. COD 4, you would hit marker them if you hit them in, like, the shin. In MWR, you can hit them in the toe and it would kill them in one burst. I mean, you could do that with any gun in MWR. <laughs> the guns in COD 4 were overpowered. You could use any... Like, in hardcore, you could literally use anything. Well, it's because it's hardcore. You can use any gun yeah, hardcore and it's still going to insta-kill In someone. the regular game, you could use anything too. Because, granted, M16s, they rule because that's how they were in the original game. They were that overpowered. Yeah. But then you have the traditional snipers who use the ACOG site on the M40 because it gives it 5% uh, it? more yeah. damage, which that was in the original game It's too. actually still in... MWR. I know they they they're not taking they out things that were it over. The original. Now it's like wow. You know what was really surprising, and why I'm surprised that nobody got like super butt hurt about this. All of like those glitch spots on maps that they took out. Yeah. I was really surprised that nobody actually got mad over that. I, mean, I saw Mark keep... Music's thing on it, and I was like, why would they not keep that in? Like that's actually I mean, the reason cool. why is because they don't want people getting into like the extremely overpowered stuff. <laughs> I know, but, but it was cool. Then, like, yeah, you know. And, and then, and then you have the people who like legitimately play the game and they don't like any glitch spots at all. Uh -huh. And like, if you like, you still have some of the spots. Like, they kept in some of the spots on purpose. Yeah. So that you can go around and do that yeah, stuff. I know but that. one of the main reasons for. COD 4 is that after a while they just didn't implement anything else to it because it was dead. They were working on new Call of Duties. They didn't have time. So all those glitch spots remained in and some of them were on purpose so that you could have this little extra step in have finding something that was more fun by going outside of the map dude, and explore it. Dude, Call of Duty has guns, right? You know what else yeah. has guns? CSGO? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> do Minecraft. Do CSGO has guns. Let's talk about CSGO. Why, why would you just cut me off like that? <laughs> we didn't even talk about this year's Call of Duty. We <laughs> talked about it for like five Who cares? seconds. We don't have any info on it. We'll talk I about mean, it next episode if there's more info. Because oh, next yeah. episode, I want a guest. And I've already, like, thought about what guests I would get on. Yeah. I'll tell you after, but like... Anyway, CSGO, have you seen the new map? No. You haven't I seen haven't uh, the map that they added? Oh yeah, Canal, right? Yeah, Canal Trash. That, <laughs> that, map is just so, that map is so bad. It's actually really bad. Like, I don't like yeah. it. And what's even funnier, if you watch Anomaly, they mm -hmm. found a boost spot where you can get on top of the map and kill people and there's yeah. one spot where you can shoot people on b-site but they can't shoot you back yeah and i was like that's so I mean, broken that's how that's how like maps were in when they first were implemented in the game they had spots that were like that not like that that's actually one of the worst glitches fixed. they've ever had in i mean map. i know that but like uh the trying to figure out like I know it's not the same thing, but bomb spots where they throw bombs outside of the map, they yeah. fix that on every single map. Mm -hmm. I mean, still there's some spots. But then on the Inferno thing, on the new Inferno, when it first came out, there were spots everywhere. No, no, they that was during the beta of the map. That's why I'm saying yeah, that's what makes That's it what different from about. Canal. Because like, they released a beta where you'd have to manually activate the beta to actually go play it. And it was like... It's so stupid because they didn't even bother to release a beta for Canal. They just added it in, and it was like, "Okay, yeah, just play it, and ex we're gonna expect something." And it's like, the map would be better. Here's the only change they need to make to the map. Obviously, they need to fix that boost spot, but they need to push T spawn back more. T spawn's yeah. way too close to B site. Like T's can make it to B before the CTs can. Which means it's not even a case of like T CTs defending the bomb site. It's more of a 
can we get there before them? And if we don't, how can we retake the site? Yeah. It's just a retake server at that point. Yeah. I've never actually... I tried playing the map on MM. Me and Owen tried. But, like, my internet suffered so bad. Like, I don't know where the server was located, but I had a consistent 1,000 ping the whole time to where I was forced to disconnect and abandon. Owen was fine, yeah. though. So I don't know what was up. I'm getting tired. Yeet. I'm talking. We're at an hour. About an hour and four minutes. I'm at an hour and three minutes. I mean, we can talk about CSGO and that stuff in the next one, as long like, and also with the Call of Duty of 2017. Uh-huh. I mean... I'm taking the Nintendo Switch off the list, because I don't care about the Nintendo Switch. Same. Like, I know um, you probably know absolutely nothing about it, other than the fact well, of, like, I, how it functions. Because yeah, you're not very that's, much that's in the true. loop, very, like, of, what hap of what's been happening the past two weeks. Jesus, cat. <laughs> But, would it just jump up on the table? It just jumped on, like, my hand, knocked my phone out of my hand. <laughs> I heard that. I was like, what? Get down. Get, out, get off my desk. No, get but, down. um... Uh, the Nintendo Switch... I don't know, isn't there, like, one or two games for it at the moment? Like, Breath of the yeah. Wild and... Like, Legend of Zelda, Zelda Breath of the Wild and... Like, 2K or something. Yeah. Like basketball or something's on it. And I'm like, that's it. Like, that's all they have for it. And they're like, yeah, we're going to release a few games monthly, but it's like, come on. You can do better than that. Release maybe yeah. like three or four monthly, please, so then it doesn't, like, burn out. Because I know Breath of the Wild, for a lot of people, like, after they've beaten it, it's kind of burned out because the console's useless Ow. to them at this point. My cat keeps biting me. <laughs> All right, well, we'll talk I, about this stuff in the next episode. Yeah, I don't care about the Nintendo Switch. Same. I I guess I would want one, because I have a Wii U. But I don't. I don't really care about the Nintendo Switch at the moment. It was a cool like idea, like type of concept when I heard it when I first heard of it. But I don't know. It just it doesn't seem that exciting. Yeah, I understand. All right, you want to end it? Sure. Anyway, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys. I'll see you guys later, and uh, remember to join my giveaway for <laughs> 10, 10 million iPhone tens, and subscribe <laughs> and and like this video to be entered, and also leave a comment saying my mom is fat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy, hit that like button, button, subscribe, and and peace out because I I'm bad at repeating things. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of episode things on the channel. Bye guys, like the video. Can we reach like 10 million likes on this video? That be that be crazy. Thank 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 you for watching the video. I'll see you guys later. You guys are all my friends. Can you guys tweet at Cam Daddy for me? <laughs> Come on, I want him to contact me right now. I can't understand the same word you're saying. Yeah, I said, can you guys tweet at Keem Daddy? I want him to contact me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll make that the outro. <laughs> yep. <laughs>